Hey everybody, Kelly Monahan here doing my series on yoga for depression and it's based on my own experience that I've gone through with anxiety and depression and how I feel that you know going through what I went through and being really good with kids has brought me to this wonderful career path of sharing yoga with kids in a way that can help them manage any kind of stress really. Stress management is just a huge skill to have and something that we really should be sharing more of with our kids and I've got lots of fun stuff for them that will help. So if you haven't seen any of the other videos, I did one on tuning in, kind of letting go and tuning in. I did one on breathing, the Ujjayi breath, which I also call Darth Vader breath for kids. And I wanted to continue on with the breathing because breathing really is just the most essential part of any yoga practice but it's also a great way to learn how to manage stress, anxiety, anger, depression, uh, so many things. I just want to focus on anxiety and depression. Again, in an earlier video, I introduced everybody to Yaya. That is her nickname. It is short for Svad Yaya, which means self-study. And Yaya, so for the older kids, Ujjayi breath, which is what I call Darth Vader breath. If you haven't, if you don't know what I'm talking about, go watch the Ujjayi breath, Darth Vader breathing breath. Um, video. That works best for older kids. Little kids, it's not as easy to explain or even get them to practice ujjayi breathing. So what I will have them do is I will give them some sort of yoga buddy, a turtle, that they then put onto their belly and they lay on their backs and they give their turtle a ride on the waves of their breath. So what they're, what you're trying to get them to do is belly breathing, just expanding the belly when you breathe, and then slowly letting it out. So for those of you who don't know, when you're born, when you're a baby, your most natural breath when you're relaxing and sleeping, if you can watch a baby taking a nap or something, you'll see that their belly rises and falls so gently. And this is because they are just totally at peace, totally relaxed. And when we are most relaxed, it is our bellies that fill with air in and out nice and slowly. So whenever we're experiencing any kind of anxiety or stress or upset, we breathe primarily in the chest. A little test that I like to do is close your eyes and place your hand on the part of the body where you feel your breath, the chest, the ribs, the belly, you know, and I just look around the room and just kind of witness where everybody's breath is. And a lot of times, even kids, you'll see, it's all up here. So this chest breathing, you know, even though it's a good thing to open and expand the heart and the chest area, you know, it, it can really restrict the breathing. It becomes short, it becomes shallow, and we just tend to kind of cave in on it. And, you know, this is just the way that it is. So one of the ways that we can help deepen the breath is by expanding the belly. I do something with the breathing ball that I'll get to on another blog. Um, well, I've actually written a blog about it. You can check it out, some belly breathing with the breathing ball. Uh, but another one is to just give them a yoga buddy that lays on their belly and when they lay down on their back they give their yoga buddy a ride on the waves of their breath and this calms their yoga buddy so that their yoga buddy can fall asleep. This is something that's really good to do before bedtime. I do it um, before Shavasana or you know during Shavasana to help kids relax in final relaxation. So you just put their little buddy on their belly and start to breathe in so the belly rises and then let it out the belly goes down. I mean, you'll see kids play with it, and that's the best part, is they're playing yoga. I love it. You'll see them just kind of, you know, writhing with their stomachs, trying to experience what it what it feels like. But, you know, eventually they will get it, and you'll see them begin to just ease into it and relax, and then all of a sudden you'll start to hear yawns or, <sighs> and, I mean, you think a child laughing is a great sound? Just wait until you hear a child sigh with relief. It's just as good as laughter. I don't know which I can't compare the two. I'll, I'll take them both. So just another little nugget to help you help your little ones deal with uh, stress, anxiety, depression, and hopefully it's something that may also help you. Just breathe deep into the belly slowly and gracefully. Just these fluid, silky smooth waves of breath. And you will notice your mind and your body begin to calm down. And add it along with some of the other tips and techniques that I've shared on other video blogs. I'm hoping that you are beginning to feel some comfort 
and that you know you're not alone. There is someone out there that feels or felt how you felt. Maybe not from the same experience, but I know how the pain feels inside my body when I'm dealing with depression or anxiety. And I'm grateful enough that I've gone through it and I've had 10 years of a yoga practice to guide me through it, to give me the awareness that I need to know when it's happening and to know what to do in you know the midst of it. And you know, after some practice, I hope that some of these techniques, if they don't help you, you don't need to come back for more. If I'm not your yoga teacher, go look for your yoga teacher. If it's calling to you, it's looking for you. So let it let it in. I uh, again share with me your experiences. Let me know how you're doing, and I will see you again soon.